All right, you're going to read with me, and you'll talk directly into the camera, uh, directly to me. I'm sorry, not to the camera. Okay. Rule number one: don't talk to the camera. All right, great. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Here we go. You ready? Mm-hmm. Andrea Sachs. Yes. Great. Human resources certainly has an odd sense of humor. All right, follow me. Okay, so I was Miranda's second assistant, but her first assistant recently got promoted, so now I'm the first. They're trying to find a replacement for me, but Miranda sacked the last two girls after only a few weeks. We need you to be someone who can survive here. Do you understand? Uh, yes, of course. Who's Miranda? Oh my god, I will pretend you did not just ask me that. She is the editor-in-chief of Runway, not to mention a legend. Work a year for her, and you can get a job at any magazine you want. A million girls would kill for this job. Well, it sounds like a great opportunity. <laughs> Andrea, uh, Runway is a fashion magazine, so an interest in fashion is crucial. What makes you think I'm not interested in fashion? <sighs> ring, ring, ring. Oh my god, no, no, no. What's wrong? She's on her way. Tell everyone. She's not supposed to be here until 9. Her driver just text messaged and her facialist ruptured a disc. God, these people. Who's that? That I can't even talk about. All right, everyone, gird your loins. Did someone eat an onion bagel? All right, I hope you know this is a very difficult job for which you are totally wrong, and if you mess up, my head is on the chopping block. Now, hang that up. Don't just fling it anywhere. Okay, first of all, you and I answer the phones. The phone must be answered every single time it rings. Calls roll to voicemail, and she gets very upset. If I'm not here, Andrea, Andrea, you are chained to that desk. Well, what if I need to... What? No. One time an assistant left the desk because, you know, she sliced her hand open with a letter opener and Miranda missed Lagerfield just before he boarded a 17-hour flight to Australia. She now works at TV Guide. Man the desk at all times. <laughs> Got it. Ring, ring, ring. Uh... Miranda Presley's office. No, she's not available. Who is it? Yes, I will tell her you called. Yet again. Right. Remember, you and I have totally different jobs. I mean, you get coffee and run errands, yet I am in charge of her schedule, her appointments, and her expenses. And more importantly, I get to go with her Paris for Fashion Week in the fall. I get to wear couture. I go to all the shows and all the parties, and I meet all the designers. It's divine. Okay, now stay here. I'm going to the art department to give them the book. The... This is the book. Now, it is a mock-up of everything in the current issue, and we deliver it to Miranda's apartment every night, and she returns it, don't touch it, she returns it to us in the morning with her notes. Now, the second assistant is supposed to do this, but Miranda is very private, and she does not like strangers in her house, so until she decides that you're not a total psycho, I get the lovely little task of waiting around for the book. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, Emily, what do I... Deal with it. Ring, ring, ring. Hello, Mrs. Priestley's office. Uh, that's what I meant, Miranda Priestley's office. Um, you know, she's in a meeting. Could I please take a message? Uh, okay. Could you please spell Gabbana? Hello? Guess not. I guessed an eight and a half. Um, uh, that's very nice of you, but I don't, I don't need these. Miranda hired me. She knows what I look like. Do you? Emily! Emily! She means you. <laughs> Good cut. Nice. Great. Nice job. Thank you very much. Good. I'm Thank glad you. we could work you in. That's great. Really so you can't it. be here on Thursday, right? No. Okay. I, Hello. I'm Lori. I'm Tori. <laughs> Tori. You like Tori or Victoria? I do. I like Tori. Okay, great. And we had a lovely interview before, which I don't think we have to do again. Okay. Um, but I did want to ask you a couple more things about your resume. And here, um, when you, you talk a little bit about wanting to be a mover, I can kind of see this in your re uh, resume. Long, mm -hmm. long, long long, long, lots of movement there. What do you want to do with that? Have you got an idea where you want to go? I do. Um, I'm going to stunt school in Seattle, the International uh, Stuntman School. Cool. And they have like a three-week training program there. And then um, I have a couple of connections in LA mm -hmm. um, that one of my professors, Aaron Anderson at uh, VCU, helped get me in touch with. So as soon as I go to stunt school, Right to LA. Sweet. Start working in, in stunts and see, especially um, like stunts in film, mm -hmm. but also see uh, CG stunt work. CG stunt stunt work. What's that mean? Um, so, like you know, like the uh, like the cart not, the, not the cartoons, not the right word, but when you see like people doing like crazy stunts and they what they do is they put the black suits on you with the motion yes. sensors 
and they videotape that in front of the blue wall. That's cool. What a cool job. That's neat. Have you always been very actively physically? Oh, yes. Yeah. I, I got in so much trouble as a kid. <laughs> I would stuff. My mom would be like, get down from there. What are you doing? Oh, that's great. That's I love neat. that. All right, cool. Let's give this another try. I'm so okay. sorry that I didn't film the other one because okay. it's lovely. Um, but let's. This is great. You get to do a second time. Round two. I know. Which More is, 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 yeah, it is. <laughs> a nice opportunity. So here yeah. we go. Um, can you this time? Will you do it without the accent, so I can just hear you? Yeah. Okay, okay, great. Cool. All right. Whenever you are ready, and you'll talk directly to me. Mm -hmm. Andrea Sachs. Yes. Great. Oh. Human resources certainly has a lot of sense of humor. Follow me. Okay, so uh, I was Miranda's second assistant, but her first assistant recently got promoted. So now I'm the first. They're trying to find a replacement for me, but Miranda sacked the last two girls after only a few weeks. So you will need to be someone who can be a survival. Do you understand? Yes, of course. Who's Miranda? God, I'll pretend you did not just ask me that. Uh, she is the editor and chief of Runway, not to mention a legend. Work for here for a year, and you can get a job in any magazine you want. A wow. million girls would kill for this job. Well, that sounds like a great opportunity. <laughs> Andrea, fashion, <laughs> fashion magazine is in fashion, so an interest in fashion is crucial. Well, what makes you think I'm not interested in fashion? Ring, ring, ring. <laughs> oh God! No. No, no, no. What's, what's wrong? No. Um, she's on her way. Tell everyone. She's not supposed to be here until now. Our driver just sent a text message and her facialist rush ruptured a disc. God, these people. Who's that? That I can't even talk about. All right, gird your loins. Did someone eat an onion bacon? Oh. I hope you know that this is a very difficult job, which you are totally wrong for. And if you mess up, my head is on the chopping board. Now, hang it up and don't just fling it anywhere. Okay. First of all, you and I answer the phones. Um, the phone must be answered every single time it rings. Calls roll a voicemail and she gets very upset. If I'm not here, Andrea, Andrea, mm. you do not leave this desk. Yeah, well, what if I need to? What? No! No! One time an assistant left the desk because, you know, she cut her finger with a letter opener, and Miranda missed Lagerfield's call just before he left for a 15-hour plane ride to Australia. She now works at TV Guide. Man the desk at all times. I got it. Ring, ring, ring. Um... Uh, Miranda Priestley's office. She's not available. Who is it? Yes, I'll tell her you called. Yes, again. Right. Remember. You and I have totally different jobs. I mean, you get coffee and run errands, and I'm in charge of her schedule, her appointments, and her expenses. And um, most importantly, I get to go, go with her to Paris for all of Fashion Week. <laughs> in the fall, I get to wear couture, and I get to go to all the shows and all the parties, with meet all the designers. It's divine. <laughs> okay, now, you stay here, and I'm gonna go to the art department and get the book. The book? This is the book. It's not a, it's a mock-up of everything in the current issue. And we deliver it to Miranda's apartment every single night, and she returns, don't, don't touch it. She returns it to us in the morning with her notes. Now, the second assistant is supposed to do this, but Miranda is very private, and she doesn't like strangers at her house. Uh, and so until she decides that you're not a total psycho, I get the lovely task of waiting around for the book. Oh. Uh, ring, ring, ring. Um, Emily, what do I <laughs> deal with it? Good cut. Thank you so Thank much for you coming back much. in, everybody. A little bit here. Okay, great. So, how are you today? Good, how are you? I'm good, thank you very much. Great. You're from Virginia? Mm-hmm. Oh, Virginia where? from Virginia. Virginia. Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's good to remember. <laughs> um, I was born and raised in Charlottesville, Virginia. It's oh, central Virginia. I've been there. It's pretty. It is really pretty. Yeah. What's it like living there? Um, it's really nice. Traffic is horrible, though. It's really it's, well, I don't think it was built thinking that it was going to go past the turn of the century. Nope. <laughs> I've noticed that a lot with cities in Virginia. Um, cool. What's the best experience you've had so far being at VCU? Oh, wow. All of it. Oh, good. Cool. All of it. Got, got any highlights? Um, I really enjoyed um, the archetypes class that mm -hmm. I took um, mm -hmm. last semester mm -hmm. uh, with Janet Rogers. That was really fun for me. How did it help you as an actor? Um, it sort of explored those universal, like, 
archetypes that um, occur in every character uh -huh. and just the basic elements of those and being able to like step in and out of those and using those to help you create a character. Mm. This Cool. Yeah, I was really interested in learning about it too. Yeah. So. What kind of training do you feel like you got at various PCU? Um, I got a lot of diverse training, which is super helpful. Mm -hmm. um, I got Stanislavski um, and Chekhov and Acting for Camera and I got Ritual Poetic Drama which is um, sort of unique to one of the professors um, at VCU. Uh -huh. um, it's like an emotional recall type thing, um, so that was fun. And then I got archetypes and voice and speech, movement, all that stuff. Wonderful, great. Would well, you see yourself working in television and film? I do. You do? I yeah. Do. Are you coming out to Los Angeles? Yes. Oh, so you are. When do you think you'll come out? Um, I'm aiming for the end of July, but it might be at the end of August. Oh, so that's pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Have you thought about where you'd like to live? Um, I think me and two of my friends are looking at living in the valley somewhere. Wonderful. That's exciting. Mm -hmm. Well, there's lots of stuff out here. Yeah. All right. In the scene, I believe I have you reading for Andy. Am yes. I right? Okay, great. Do you have any questions? Nope. All right, I have the squeakiest chair in the world right here. <laughs> Great. All right, here we go. You ready? All right. Andrea Sachs? Yes. Great. Human resources certainly has an odd sense of humor. Follow me. Okay, I was Miranda's second assistant, but her first assistant recently got promoted, so now I'm the first. Uh, they're trying to find a replacement for me, but Miranda sacked the last two girls after only a few weeks. We need you to be someone who can survive here. Do you understand? Yeah, of course. Um, who's Miranda? Oh my god, I will pretend you did not just ask me that. She's the editor-in-chief of Runway, not to mention a legend. Work a year for her, and you can get a job in any magazine you want. A million girls would kill for this job. Well, it, it sounds like a great opportunity. Andrea, Runway is a fashion magazine, so an interest in fashion is crucial. What, what makes you think I'm not interested in fashion? Uh, ring, ring, ring. Oh my god. No, no, no. What's wrong? She's on her way. Tell everyone. She's not supposed to be here until 9. Her driver just text messaged and her facialist ruptured a disc. God, these people. Who's that? That I can't even talk about. All right, everyone, gird your loins. Did someone eat an onion bagel? All right. I hope you know that this is a very difficult job, but you are totally wrong, and if you mess up, my head is on the chopping block. Now, hang that up. Don't just fling it anywhere. Okay, first of all, I answer the phones. You and I answer the phones. The phone must be answered every single time it rings. Calls to roll to voicemail, and she gets very upset. If I'm not here, Andrea, Andrea, you are chained to that desk. Well, what if I need to... What? No. One time an assistant left the desk because you know she sliced her hand open, uh, uh, opening a letter opener, and Miranda missed Lagerfield just before he boarded a 17-hour flight to Australia. She now works a TV guide. Man the desk at all time. Got it. Ring, ring, ring. Uh, uh, Miranda Presley's office. No, she's not available. Who is it? Yes, I'll tell you. She called. Yet again... All right, remember, you and I have totally different jobs. I mean, you get coffee and run errands, yet I am in charge of her schedule, her appointments, and her expenses. And um, more importantly, I get to go to Paris for Fashion Week in the fall. I get to wear couture, and I go to all the shows and all the parties, and I meet all the designers. It's divine. Okay, now stay here. I'm going to the art department to give them the book. Uh. This is the book. Now, it is a mock-up of everything in the current issue, and we deliver it to Miranda's apartment every night, and she returns... Don't touch it. She returns it to us in the morning with her notes. Now, the second assistant is supposed to do this, but Miranda is very private, and she does not like strangers in her house. So until that, you, she decides that you are not a total psycho. I get the lovely little task of waiting around for the book. Ring, ring, ring. Oh, uh, Emily, what do I do? Deal with it. Ring, ring. Oh. Miss Presley's office. Uh, that's what I meant, Miranda Presley's office. Um, you know she is in a meeting. Could I please take a message? Uh huh. Uh, okay. Could you, could you please spell Gabbana? Hello. Guess not. I guessed an eight and a half. Um. Uh, that's that's very nice of you, but I don't think I need these. Miranda hired me. She knows what I look like. Do you? Emily? 